So the question now is, what is the proportionality of area to volume? Okay, we have area equals k times some power of the volume, and we're not sure what that power ought to be. However, we do know that if x is the length of a side, or some linear dimension, a diameter, an altitude, whatever, as long as the figures are geometrically similar, that the area is going to equal some constant times that dimension squared. So we're going to say, we're going to call that constant k sub a, standing for the area constant. So area is going to be k sub a times x squared, and volume will be a volume constant, k sub v times x cubed. We know that both of these have to be true. We don't know what kA and kV are. We don't care at this point. We're just trying to find what the nature of the proportionality is between area and volume. Okay, we have a proportionality for area. We have a proportionality for volume, both in terms of the length of a side. We're not interested in anything about the length of a side. We're just interested in the proportionality of area to volume. So it makes sense to eliminate x between these two equations. Once we've eliminated x, maybe we'll end up with an a equals kv to some power. Let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to choose to solve the second equation for x, and then we're going to plug that into the first equation. That'll give us an a equals something. Remember, we wanted a equals k times v to some power. So if we solve the second for x and plug it in here, we'll still have a equals something, and that's kind of where we want to go with it. So the algebra is probably going to be a little simpler, a few, uh, not quite as many steps, let's say, if we start by solving the second equation for x. Well, we solve that very easily. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of kv. We get v over kv, and then we take the one-third power, because the one-third power of the cube of x, of course, gives us x. The one-third power of the right-hand side is going to be the one-third power of k over kv. Having obtained that, we substitute it in for x here. When we do that, we get a equals ka, just like here, times the cube of whatever x is. x being the one-third power of v over kv, then we have uh, the square of this one-third power. We can expand this square, or we can square the one-third power, that's going to give us the two-thirds power by the laws of exponents, which you should be familiar with. And that's going to essentially say that the area is Ka times V to the two-thirds over Kv to the two-thirds. We could rearrange that. We could have Ka over Kv to the two-thirds, then multiplied by V to the two-thirds. So if we let little K equal Ka over Kv to the two-thirds, then we can write this expression here, or this equation, this way. k times v to the two-thirds, where the k absorbs both the ka and the two-thirds power of the kv according to this. And now we see what the proportionality is. a is proportional to the two-thirds power of the volume. We never knew what kv was, and we never knew what ka was, but we know that the area is going to be some k times v to the two-thirds. K's got to be constant because Ka is constant and Kv is constant, and K is Ka over the two-thirds power of Kv. Since these are constant, this is going to be constant, and we have, again, this proportionality. Now that we have that proportionality, we can solve uh, the problem, and I believe this is problem number six. By what, not problem number five, I guess, by what factor does, no, problem number six, by what factor does the uh, area change if the volume changes by factor, uh, well, from 52 to 8. So that the area ratio, if we have this proportionality, is going to be the two-thirds power of the volume ratio. So we just take the volume ratio, take it to the two-thirds power, punch that out, and now we've got our area ratio.